Good day, Heimerhead. Uh, in this video, I will show you a couple of uh, space saving hacks that I uh, did. And in here, you can see the carbon monoxide and uh, liquid propane uh, sensors located. And before I talk about that, let's uh, take a look at another hack first. Uh, this is the location where we used to store the cutting board. Uh, this cutting board is a uh, heavy, uh, very difficult to store, but the wife uh, absolutely love it and use it a lot. So what I did was to make a bracket to store it not in the drawer. So this is the bracket I made and a corner latch to keep it in place. So the board just slip in the bracket and this corner latch will keep it in place. And I drove around with it many times it uh, has no problem and does not make any noise. Uh, so taking it out is very easy. And this rubber bumper has uh, kind of a sound deadening uh, device to make it not noisy. So again, uh, very simple. And it doesn't take up any space or at least the space we're not using. And the second hack is the beer drawer. And a lot of people have made this drawer. I didn't even know uh, who was the first who came up with the idea. So the earlier uh, carbon monoxide sensor used to be in the middle of this panel. And I cut that section out and glued the top and the upper, the up and the lower piece back together to make the face plate. And this is a very nice uh, marine uh, latch. Uh, here are all my beers. And the rail is uh, 16 inches long. If I make it longer, uh, I need to take, a, take away the uh, bottom drawer in order to install this or take it uh, or take it apart. So 16 inches is the optimum, at least that's for me. Uh, I also, uh, instead of mounting the rail on the side, I mount it on the top. So it's like a hanging uh, rail, a drawer hanging on the rail uh, with brackets that I made. These are the brackets that I made to hang the drawer. Uh, this way I could maximize the width of this to uh, store as much beer as possible. And I also put an uh, angle aluminum uh, bracket on the four corners to uh, make it sturdy and secure. And this come with, uh, this rail come with a uh, soft closing. So it closed by itself at the end and the bumper stop kind of lock it in place. And up here, uh, this this used to be this screw used to be mounted on the front plate, and I rotate the bracket 90 degree and use longer screws, so the screw now go in that side instead of in the front. So as you can see, uh, this is how it works. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.